Hello everyone, welcome back to another daily Minecraft tutorial. Today, we're going to be showing you how to view and change the server.properties of your Minecraft server on ModRenv. Take it away! Yeah, thank you. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. To begin, you have to go to your web browser. So, here I have my web browser. And, of course, you need to have your modern servers selected already. So here I am on the modern website and I am on host a server. Here we have a server right here and to see the properties of your server, all you have to do is click the server name and there is two ways of doing so. The first way is by going to files and by scrolling down you will see servers.properties right here. When clicking on that, you're going to see this type of view. This is the server.properties folder in a text form. If you want to see it in another type of view, all you have to do is go to options and go to properties. So, here we have every single server properties of a Minecraft server. So, first of all, here we have accept transfers. So this is more for like uh, putting a player to an other server, right? So it does it accept a player going into the server out. Well, here we have more of a Minecraft type of thing. So here allow flight. This is more like for people who doesn't have ops. So hack clients basically. If you use if you use flight, this will not ban them. If this is on, this will bend them. So that's kind of what this is. Allow nether, this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, broadcast to ops and recon. This is to connect the server remotely. Uh, this basically being this console right here. Uh, if we go down again, bug report link. This is if there's any bugs, what link, a Discord server, whatever. This will come in as a message. The Minecraft server's difficulty for the world right here enable command blocks for example this will be off so you can't use command blocks now you can use command blocks uh, enable gmx monitoring this is again more for some ssl type of connection but again uh, for this type of server you will not really be using that uh, query and recon is again to connect this remotely uh, enable status this is if the server is obviously online or offline have it this online. There's not really any reason to have it offline. A uh, secure profile. Uh, this is more to like verify if the player is a uh, Minecraft, uh, Minecraft player or not. But it's a bit different from online and offline mode. It's a bit, it's a bit of a weird one. This one, but it's just another type of verification of the actual profile. But this will also work as online and offline technically. Uh, whitelist. If this is on, uh, each player needs to ask the op, right? so whoever owns the player, which is you, uh, if they can join or not, you have to add them to the whitelist, or here, any, anyone can just join. Uh, entity broadcast range percentage, this is anything to do with a Minecraft world, how far is an entity, here we can see 100% of the range, aka the view distance or uh, simulation distance of any player. A uh, forced game mode, that's basically if a player joins, slash game mode creative. This will give him slash game, game mode creative when it's joining. A uh, function permission level, uh, this is more of command blocks and commands. So two is the maximum command. If you have a command which is set as three, you will not be able to use it. So if you put this to like 10, you will be able to use 10 levels of commands. This is more for like mini games and whatnot and other type of uh, um, servers that kind of requires you to use like types of items or teleporting or creating or accessing commands but not every single command inside the command this is really advanced but like this is just if you're not going to be doing any of that just simple as simply no need to touch that game mode survival this and this comes together pretty much uh, generic structures, quite simple. This is more when you create a new world, but will it be a village? Will it not be a village? Generate a setting, 
here, there's nothing in there, so it will just generate everything. Hardcore, that's for survival, so if you have one life or not, if the player dies, well, they will have to go to a new world, or they just can't really join the server. They will be able to, able to join, but they will not be able to interact with the world once they die. Hide online players, uh, we don't need to touch that one, but basically it's just hiding uh, whoever joined the server. Um, and I showed uh, disabled packs, and also we have packs right here. This is more for mods and plugins, but this is just as we're using Vanilla here. This will not really do anything. This is just what type of commands and usage of a specific uh, data pack. This is more for the actual creation of the world, but it's just what uh, should be enabled or disabled when creating a world. Here we have our level name. This is the name of the actual file where the world is uh, stored in. The seed, if this is blank, obviously, it will do a random seed. Level type, Minecraft normal. So yeah, so yeah, this is like a whole different type of level where you can have super flat or amplified right here. And this will generate a new world. This is really just a setting of itself. Log IPs. This is if someone joins, will it keep the IP addresses of these people? So if you ban the IP, they will not be able to join because the server knows the IP of that person. Then we have the actual chunks. And what not? So here we have uh, the actual updates of uh, the players. So this like ten thousand. So obviously, like it will be quite fast. But you can change this depending on how much updates and packets do you want to be able to be sent at once. Basically, here's for your players. So max plus is twenty. You can put it bigger or smaller. This will limit how much players can actually join the server at one time. Uh, max tick time. That's just basically the time of a uh, of day, just how much time in a day. Uh, here we have world size. How far is the world border? MOTD. This is kind of what shows up before joining a server. You have like a little line under, and changing this. This is color codes right here, but changing this will give you another message. This this little message of the day under your server. A uh, network compression threshold. This is just how, again, more packets and whatnot. Uh, online mode, this, and the setting way up here. Uh, here it is. It comes together, but this allows everyone to join, and this only allows actual Microsoft Minecraft people to join. So you have to have bought Minecraft. Here's for other type of Minecraft, which can be free and not use any Microsoft account. OP permission level, so this is a uh, four. As we can see earlier, the comments was two. So OPs can use every single command of a Minecraft world. Uh, pause when empty. This is kind of like stop the server from running to save resources if no one, if no one's in the server. A play idle timeout. If it's zero, obviously there's no limit to how long a player can be timed out. But if you put like one or to or whatnot, this is just how much minutes or seconds can a player be idle before they get kicked. Uh, prevent uh, proxy connections. This is connecting using, again, remote uh, software to the console. PvP, by simple, can the player kill each other, hurt each other? That's on, so players can interact with one another. Query port, this is the port we use to join the server and this is the port right here with ray limit and recon password that we use to join the server but the actual console of the server so you don't join the server with this you join with this uh, region file compression different types of compression levels for minecraft files here we don't need to touch this is default Require resource specs. So this is everything to do with resource specs. All these features up to this. A uh, turning this on will require the player joining to have downloaded the resource pack right here. This is in a text format. So this is more of okay, where's the resource pack located? Turn on. This calls out to where's the resource pack. Player has to download. Now they can join. 
Here they can join with downloading the resource pack or without. This is of course different types of resource packs if you want to make it more accurate and more detailed. Uh, server IP, this is the IP of the server as this is using a server URL, it won't show anything here. Server port, this is the default Java port. Simulation distance, how far does mobs, entities and other Minecraft uh, ticks uh, interact with the world and how far away can it be from the players, that being 10 chunks. Spawn monsters, no mobs, mobs, spawn protection, how much blocks can be broken around the spawn and how much blocks will be protected by the spawn. So 16 blocks from all directions from the spawn point will be protected and cannot be broken by non-ops of course. Uh, sync chunk writes, this is just to make sure if the server crashes or whatnot, it makes it more stable and prevents breaking. Text filtering config, this is more with uh, what text you allow or not onto the server. Text filtering version, zero, well simply because that's the default number for that one. You can add more numbers, I will just add more information what types of uh, config for the fi uh, filtering you're actually looking to. But zero is just default for that one. Uh, use native transport this is again for the actual teleporting uh, of players between worlds in this case we don't need to touch there um, view distance quite simple how far can the player put their own view distance uh, if a player has 32 view distance here if it's 10 10 will be the maximum they can see and white list is where do you want to like Yes, the players can join. No, they can't join. They need the same thing. So, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's this is kind of all of the um, server properties. And of course, when we go to server properties here, we have the same thing, but it's just, yeah, we have different types of way of seeing it. This one can be edited like this, like that. So it's just another way of seeing it. And of course you save it like that. So yeah, that's how we view and edit servers properly using the modern server roster. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty cool. And yeah, so if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one.